guys, welcome back. We are actually starting on our third generation for the Medieval Color Legacy Challenge. This is Pink Gen, and as per usual, we are doing a pre-build where we build kind of their new home. So I actually, this video was so long that I had to split it into two parts, so you're gonna get two. But I thought in this one we would talk specifically about what I was trying to accomplish on the lot in terms of building. This is going to be our last peasant generation, so they're meant to be a little bit higher up. I wanted to make sure that I started incorporating a bit more detail in the homes, a little bit more decoration. Their last home was pretty sparse. And of course, because this is a double air generation, I need two houses. So this first one that we're working on is actually going to be Henry with an Eyes home with Rena and their two children. And then the other one is Jean-Paul and Ruben's house with their gigantic brood that they were not supposed to have. You know, the usual. I actually had to set the beds up because I was like, how many sims do I need to fit in this house? Clementine is still around at this time, so I'm going to go ahead and put her in with Jean-Paul. That's definitely a punishment. <laughs> I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed, okay? He just keeps breaking the non-existent rules, but I, there's too many sims. He's just adding toddlers when there does not need to be any more toddlers in his house. So this generation is, they're supposed to have a bit larger livestock for them going on, so they're gonna have pigs, the sun and moon set. They're still gonna have their own garden, because the rules still are you have to grow your own food. I'm not sure in terms of the next generation if that kind of rule is going to stay in place but for now it definitely is while they're kind of in their, their peasant age and yeah i just wanted to have fun with it i really wanted to make sure that i included a lot of pink since that's the generation color and yellow was really challenging to include that a lot of it ended up just being like creams or off-whites and again they didn't have a lot of decoration they weren't supposed to they're very much had purchased their indenture, became free, and then it's like hard scrabble just trying to make it at that point. I do... I would say question this roof. I don't know. I'm not super happy with the way this particular roof turned out. It's okay. It's definitely different, but I don't, I don't know. I was also disappointed that I did not have a pink roof tile anywhere. I was like trying to, I was like, can I squint and pretend it's pink? Bless you, Judy. So yeah, some of the key things that I needed to include besides just make sure everybody had a bedroom was obviously they need the pen with the pigs. I haven't decided quite how that's going to work because obviously if they're supposed to make a living selling the pigs, they need to have quite a few, but like, do I start them out with a bunch of pigs? Like, I, I just... I haven't decided that yet. It was easier with the chickens because, you know, you had the eggs, you would grow them in the brooder box. Ta-da. Pigs will be a lot more challenging for them. So, and they're going to have to run a home business until they reach level 10 and then they will purchase a community lot. So we're going to sell the chicken stall. They will purchase a community lot at that point and they will have to get that one to level 10 as well. It won't be just kind of like you just have to buy it. They'll have to actually get it to level 10. Uh, what else? So they will have to maintain, once they have to earn 100,000 smoleons, and once they do, they have to maintain that until the heir is a child. So this would be Sebastian's child. Because there's actually a lot more to do with like his kids in terms of the rules as well. Like before the generation can officially pass over to the next person, so Sebastian's kid, Sebastian's kid will need to have their three three bronze badges, and they're gonna have to be a fortune sim. So there's some things that'll have to happen before it can, we can move on to the next gen. Um, a new kind of rule that I've included: obviously, sims can't read unless they're literate. Now for pink gen, they can't restock unless they're literate which is why i am considering sending the rest of the kids to, the, to school now because i'm like oh my gosh that's gonna be challenging because ruben's not rena's not and right now none of the kids except for sebastian are attending school so yeah school is going to be a thousand simoleons per child per age so a thousand simoleons when they're a child and another thousand when they're a teen uh, we are going to 
allow sims teen sims to have a job essentially but they initially have to pay 5,000 simoleons per kid basically the plus side for doing that is they get to pick a craft or a trade i wanted to do this partially because the next generation obviously is going to be merchants but also because they're going to need a way to maintain that money and the really good way to maintain your funds is to have craftables to sell so i did put i believe a toy station in but nobody's going to be able to use that unless they apprentice essentially uh, there's also kind of a new rule that's going to be enforced for this generation since they are trying to reach a higher class. Uh, this hasn't happened yet, but just it's a rule anyways. There's no babies out of wedlock. So we're definitely going to have to watch our teen female sims and make sure nothing happens. Well, honestly, we'll have to watch, watch the boys too, but yeah, that's definitely a new thing. And then on Mondays, they're going to visit town for supplies because this new lot, I see it as being like up kind of in the forest type of area because historically speaking, families that kept pigs would kind of let them run loose and they would go find truffles. And they also um, ate like the nuts from oak trees. So that's why you also see me put some oak trees down. And yeah, that's pretty much what I have for pink gen. Oh, and if they, so they reach 100,000 simoleons, and then after that point, if they dip down below that level while the air is still young, there's going to be an extra 25% tax penalty for the week. So it's only once, but for the whole week, in addition to the 10% they pay to the crown. Just as a way to kind of keep the funds down. So I'm kind of setting up a little kitchen garden here and I'll make sure that they have vegetables as well because they grow all their own food. I really wasn't sure like what things to put. I wanted to put things that were kind of medicine-y, you know, vaguely medicine-y, but eh. And then they have just kind of their garden plot. I'm really excited to start this generation because I mentioned it before, we are going to do a bachelor challenge with Sebastian, just, you know, for funsies. Because I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do last time for a yellow gen, obviously I used sims that I'd already created and just kind of had them pick their favorites, but I wanted to do something different and I also like to use other people's sims sometimes just because everybody makes sims a little bit differently and so it's a really good way to keep some genetic variety. I'm not sure, I've thought about with those spare uh, yellow gen possible spouses if I'm not if I might just pair them together so that there's actual child age sims to be people's friends uh, I did put mushrooms down we'll see if that's a mistake or not because sometimes they're poisonous and then I was looking for tr the truffle thing also there's rooting spots because why not I might put a lake in nearby just like a community lot they can go to as well it's taking me forever to find the little truffle thing like I just could not find it which drove me nuts. I'm really happy with this lot though I think it turned out really cute and it definitely you know, fits what I was wanting like aesthetically. Lots of pink but still like they're in the woods. I did decide to give a little rosehip bush. I really need to update all my sun and moon objects that have been updated recently and I just haven't because I'm afraid. <laughs> Because it's gonna, a deer and I'm like, oh god, everything that I have placed. But there's like all the animals have been updated. I need to do that. I need to take out the rabbit. I did, there's a lot. There's a lot. But I will do it eventually. It's probably why my hip's a little broken right now. I mean, not broken, but I can't, I don't have a flower crafting station currently. I don't know why. Uh, some people gave me some advice on to see why. It just suddenly is hidden because I don't have a hider but someone said it's the GUID could be an issue with custom content so I might have to try to fix that but technically I don't have to do it for a whole nother round because there's only one family that really needs it. I went ahead and put these ferns down just because I wanted it to be more temperate forest and then um, some rose bushes just meh. 
make it a little different. I also don't know in terms of like selling the pigs if people can steal them if they're set for sale because I know they can steal them regularly. I don't think they can but like they might be able to. And now the fun part. We are decorating Rena and Henry with an eyes bedroom. And I spent a little bit more time on their bedroom than I did on anything else because they have not had 10 billion children. They have been kind to me. <laughs> but yeah, I had a, a lot of different pinks to choose from. I wanted them to have a dresser and a mirror and just make it look a little bit more like, okay, they're moving up now. They're not struggling for every meal kind of thing, which they really were. Yellow Gen was hard. It was hard for me just because there were so many Sims, but it was meant to be like struggle bus. But now they've got it together. They bought their bigger farm. They're able to kind of buy just little things like curtains. I really like watching this family develop like through the generations. It'll definitely be interesting to see like, when we get further along how many of the original like, traits and features and things still are there. Because those Kenton genes are strong. And the Imeric and Clementine are basically just repurposed yeah, Sims. So. One thing I kind of struggled here was I wasn't really sure if I wanted to give them like a ton of tapestries or anything. I get that it would be good for like warmth, but obviously just because they're doing okay doesn't mean they're doing magnificently. So yeah, I was just trying to get things that it looked like they could have made themselves feasibly. Which, th there's a balance for sure. Uh, <laughs> but I think that tiny tapestry is something they either could have made or traded for. Curtains obviously look like something that they could have made. Because Rena's a romance sim, I wanted her to just give her kind of like flowers, a little flower crown. This dresser drives me nuts because I wanted to put a mirror there and I, there's not any mirrors that fit. So then I wanted to put that there, but it kept going on top of the dresser, so. Yeah. Simple, but I mean, I think it's, it's cute and I think it makes sense for their class level, what kind of room they would have. Just a little bit more. Because as much as I liked their other farm, like, it was pretty empty. It was pretty barren. It was a little sad. And then they've got a little bathroom off of their bedroom. I wanted to make sure I had plenty of bathrooms for this family because there's so many of them. <laughs> and then lighting. I don't know, I just like that plaque, so I put it there. The kids' room, um... I remember who it's Sebastian and it's not Emmeline Victorine god I couldn't remember her name for the life of me so they're gonna share a room up here I just figured it made the most sense to split by family rather than trying to like put the boys in one room and the girls in another just it made more sense to have two houses You'll notice I did not put any of the actual functional fireplaces down. It's just too much. And it's not technically part of the challenge. It was just something pers that I was personally trying to do. But with this many Sims, it's just not possible to manage all of those things. I did put the uh, trees back in, though, the growable trees. So if they do get enough firewood on their own, I might put one in just to kind of give them a little something to do. <laughs> I know the pink desk is silly, but I really wanted something like vibrantly pink in this room. So we got a pink desk. I haven't decided to, uh, uh, cause I've been considering aging up some of the kids, just all of the kids really, and aging up Sebastian in particular to make him a teen. I know we didn't have him as a child that long, but we don't really need them to be at that age and aging is not, again, not part of this challenge. So I could age them up, so I'm considering that. If I did, I would just age up Sebastian to a teen. Any toddlers would be ch child age. We're expecting another kid, so... 
I guess I couldn't really do much about that one. It does bother me that the aging will not be in sync, but eh. Not enough to not age them up. Plus, I really want to um, have Sebastian be apprenticed. I just think it's a good idea for him to be able to bring in that extra money. And so while he's kind of doing that, the rest of the family will run the business. And then he'll go through his little bachelor challenge and I also figured that was a good way to like represent why is he, you know, having this quote unquote challenge. Well, he's probably meeting a lot of eligible young ladies or gentlemen through his apprenticeship. I thought about like an arranged marriage situation, so I did the last time I played this. The last time I played this challenge, I got to pink gen and then the hood got corrupted, so I couldn't make it any further. That's why I'm also hesitant to post the rules, because sometimes th I change things because I feel like they're too hard or they're not hard enough. Which is why we only have brown and yellow released. I just, I feel better about playing through the challenge myself. I mean, yes, could so I post all the rules and then just change them later? Yeah, but I'd rather have them completed to my standards. Which are apparently somewhat high. <laughs> but, yeah. Plus, I haven't even written the rules for the rest of the gens because I didn't get that far. I know that the next gen, gen 4, is going to be orange and they're going to be like lower merchants. So they are going to own an actual building instead of stalls, but like people probably are not going to like think highly of them because they're just, just barely by the skin of their teeth, not peasants kind of thing. They will also have allowable crafts at that time that they can sell. So basket weaving, candle making, beekeeping, and woodworking, which is why those are kind of the things that I'm going to lean towards Sebastian doing so he could teach his child. I like the idea of including just kind of, because I know the Not So Berry Challenge has like random things like this person's going to be heir, or you have to have twins, that kind of thing. So I like the idea of incorporating things like that just for storytelling purposes. So. I'm toying with the idea of like the youngest child becoming the heir like unexpectedly. They also will need to befriend and adopt a stray. I want to include more pets kind of things and complete their lifetime want. Obviously I'm going to allow the lifetime want to be re-rolled and I have to follow replacements, but I just, again, I want to use a lot of the different game mechanics. And we'll be staying merchants for two generations then moving up to Gentry, and then we'll finally be moving up to like the noble classes around Gen 7. But that's a ways away. That's, that's quite a bit further than we're gonna get this year. It is my goal to get to Gen 4 this year. That was part, I create simming goals every year, and this year that's pretty much the only one that I'm worried about is getting to Orange Gen, so there might just be a period where I like blitz play through this and do nothing else, but and we'll see. Got a couple months. I did want to give them an easel just because, again, I just want to show that they're not so poor that they don't have items and things to do. Like they're starting to put those kind of things together for themselves. Maybe not the best quality, but they at least have them. I love that bookshelf, but I didn't want to reuse it again. I ended up going with kind of the beaten up one with the skull. <laughs> yeah, punching bag. Have to keep the little jumpy hay pile because they just seem to love it. I put these scarecrows out because they're funny. Looks like they're pointing at each other. One's, I believe you can fight, and one's a stereo, so. Just little things. I thought about giving me a chessboard, but like, eh. So I give him a knife throwing thing. And then I was trying to place this slide like in a way that didn't seem like any child that used it was immediately in danger of having a knife thrown at them, but eh, there, they'll be alright. I was trying to just see, is there any other little item that I can just put here? I do want to make them, sorry, I'm going to make their own clothes when I go to buy them, so that's why I put that little yarn ball there. 
yeah and we're just about done with this part of the house part two is going to consist of the other side of the house which includes clementine's room and also finishing decorating up the outside so adding the pigs and things like that i actually really like these converted rugs i think from eco lifestyle they're bright but like not obnoxious to the point where i think that they don't belong and the other ones from cottage living I do wish I had a couple more torn up ones. I think that that one is the only recolor that's kind of torn up a little bit. But yeah, just gave them some little handmade looking rugs. Filling the space. And I was trying to just kind of find things to put on the wall. Thankfully, this is not Sims 4, so they will not judge my decorating tendencies. Pink still is a hard color. I remember the first time I did the pink house, it was really hard, and this time it was hard as well, because just not a lot of stuff is pink. In terms of like medieval recolors, a lot of people don't use pink. That's like their go-to. It's woods, browns, creams. <laughs> There's just not a lot of pink. But I found a few things, like that little towel that's next to to the dish bin, that tapestry, the rugs. I did use these embroidery hoops as well, just to add a little bit of something. I think they're cute. I don't think they're necessarily so out of place that it just seems odd. Like, I just think they got some embroidery hoops. I was also trying not to have things that were super expensive. It's one thing if it if it is expensive but it looks cheaper but I can't have them spend crazy amounts on decorating just little things I think they could purchase so yeah we're pretty much done now so thank you guys so much for joining me if you did like this video definitely leave a like um if you have any comments thoughts opinions suggestions definitely leave those too and I will see you in the next one